I've got a quick geometry quiz to keep your mind sharp. If this rectangle ABCD has a length of 8 and a height of 6, can you solve for x? Keep in mind, the line segment AE is perpendicular to the diagonal line segment BC. I'll give you guys a few minutes before I give you a hint. Jump to the 4 minute mark for the hint, or the 8 minute mark for the answer. Okay, if you're listening to this, you're probably stuck after using the Pythagorean theorem to successfully determine the length of the diagonal line BC. Here's the hint. The triangle ABE is a similar triangle to another triangle that can be found in our rectangle. FYI, a similar triangle is one that is different in size but consists of the same angles. Find this triangle and you find X. I'll give you guys a few more minutes. Skip to the 8 minute mark if you're done.
If you're ready, let's solve for x. Since ABCD is a rectangle, we know that the line segment BD is 6. We also know that the angle BDC is 90 degrees, which would mean that the triangle CBD is a right triangle and that the Pythagorean theorem can be used to find the length of the hypotenuse BC. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse BC is equal to the square of the other two line segments BD and CD. So the square of 6 and the square of 8 should add up to the square of the hypotenuse BC. That's 36 plus 64, which is 100. And since the square root of 100 is 10, we know that the hypotenuse BC is 10. Next, we need to establish that the triangle ABE is similar to the triangle ABC. This isn't obvious until we separate the triangle ABE and flip it. Let's call this triangle A prime BE. Now let's bring it back and compare this to the triangle ABC. Notice that the angle ABC is the same as the angle A prime BE and that the triangles ABC and A prime BE are similar triangles. Because they are similar triangles, we know that the ratio between lines AC and BC need to hold true for lines EA prime and BA prime. So 6 over 10 will be equal to x over 8, which means 10x is equal to 48. And finally, we calculate that x is equal to 4.8, which is the solution to our problem. Hope everyone got it right. If not, don't worry, you'll get the next one. Stick sense.